Hello everybody, just uh, a little unboxing and then use of something I bought off Amazon finally. Uh, it finally came to the UK store and this is the heat insert kit uh, that is put together by Mintium. And yes, I'm trying to do this one handed and failing miserably, but hey ho, there we go. Yeah, so much for doing videos when you don't have big high quality studio stuff. Well, hey ho, this is how it is. Don't need that. Now, I know that there will be those saying, yes, you can get these cheaper elsewhere. Yes, of course you can. Uh, but there's a lot of people who look to getting things on Amazon for many reasons. We won't go into it. Um, but this is a nice little all over kit. Now, I did because they don't have their particular soldering iron um, as one of the possible kit options uh, here in the UK yet because it was designed for a different voltage I had to find a similar one which I managed to do and of course I'll provide the links for that uh, for those that want to do this route but as you can see what we basically have different size heat inserts and then an adapter for your soldering iron so that these can be put in appropriately, yeah, with the various tips, yeah. So let's just open that up so you can get an idea how that works. See if I can do it without filling everything everywhere. There we go. Okay, so obviously we have our different sizes. These are the individual tips that go, and that's the bit that would go into your actual heat insert to obviously do it. Um, this is for the soldering iron itself. And as you can see, it's got threading for those little inserts. Yeah. So what happens is that you take your insert piece, and I'll just do this off to the side here. And you would put them together like that with this inside of your soldering iron. Uh, and yes, I was doing some gardening earlier, so sorry about that. Anyway, um, it's a pretty simplistic concept, though. Um, basically, when you have something like this, which I'm going to also demonstrate um, how that works, um, you need something to help you heat the insert, but also when you pull it out, it doesn't pull the insert part way out with it. Now, I know using a soldering iron, if you're a fairly sturdy hand or you get one of these tools that holds your soldering iron and firmly presses it in, I've seen a few cases where it would try to grip the threads. And it, you know, and if you have one like this, so if you're working with, like, let me just get one of these out of here. If you're working with an M8 thread, not many soldering irons can obviously fit that. They'll just sit right through the middle, go right into the plastic. Plus, depth is another concern. If you're also using your soldering iron for soldering, the last thing you want to do with your pencil iron is to coat the tip with a polymer. You know, because now you're going to have to sit and clean it and retin it. And here's some typical, like, half-height ones. You know, a few millimeters. Um, this is looking like an M4. Um, and at which point, you don't want the soldering iron to go all the way through and right into the plastic you know you want it to to just go enough to heat that insert so that's what this is going to do i'm going to go ahead and get this uh, soldering iron out here in a second and show you the kit that i bought you can buy the soldering iron by itself um i may even include the link for that because like i said they they sell that particular soldering iron by itself as well as a kit my soldering iron was quite dated so i decided to get a kit um, that had a bunch of extra tools that I could do with. Um, this is the soldering iron that I managed to find that has the appropriate for that insert. And it's a nice little kit. This is an 80 watt soldering iron um, with adjustable temperature. You know, so you got a nice little on off switch and then a nice little up and down with an appropriate temperature range. Um, does come with other tips. So, as you can see, another fine point, and 
slightly larger another one for like a wedge you know this one you can use for plastic welding or cutting and then one extra on the fine points so for it, obviously various tips for various things comes with extra solder a little place where you have a little sponge for wetting the tip desoldering tool extra tweezers and that and of course a little instruction guide and this of course um, is a wire stripper now a lot of people received these with PTFE tubing you know as a supposed cutter it's not it's intended for cutting wire and stripping the, the insulation back is what it's for so I thought that was rather cheeky of some companies but anyway I'll get into this get this hooked up and warmed up and then I'll show you how this works okay now for those who have never used um, a soldering iron of this kind before you'll see this in the instructions anyway um, first thing we're gonna do um, is to put the adapter in here for the heat inserts this is also how you would ultimately change your tip you can see there's a, a little thing here like that which goes into your soldering iron and we're going to take that out and we're going to place this adapter up in there those in there because I've just knocked that. There we go. That's better. Now that, as you're going to see, it'll go up like that. Yeah? It just slides over that little ceramic heater. And you'll see it stops just before there. And slide this back over. And that's all you do. You're ready to utilize this for these tips. Now, the ones I'm going to be using for this are this size. They're the M3. I've already taken them out of this earlier. Um, but these are M3 heated inserts, uh, which I'm going to be using for this. Um, this is to for a hot end solution I'm going to be working with uh, in the nearby. Um, so what I need is the one that has an M3 thread use. Is that the one? Let me just, uh, me and my poor eyes. Nope, that's M5. There it is. Okay, so here we go. This is the one uh, for the M3. Now, one of the reasons you can tell this is the pin obviously goes just inside of there without actually damaging the threads um, obviously you'll see each one of these is just slightly smaller um, and they do actually have one in here um, if you are doing really tiny work um, so for example if you're doing one of the hot end solutions I've seen out there that uses a 2 or a 2.5 that's the one you would use there which is even tinier as you can tell uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and do this so First things first, screw this, and it only needs to be finger tight. There's no need to crank it in there. It's just going to transfer heat up to the end of that, and ultimately into your heat insert, yeah? So, let me just put this tip off to the side. Close this up so we don't make a mess if I bump it. Okay, so first step, obviously, the clearly obvious, turn it on. Now. It, this is going to come up defaulted on this one to 350C. Well, I think that's a little bit too hot for what we're working with. Uh, the material I'm looking to weld into is made of ABS. So 260 is more than enough. That is normally a, an average low-end extruding temperature for ABS. Um, I think as the lowest I've seen was actually 250, but this should put us right in the area because this is 260 to 265. Um, is about an average for most people printing ABS, so we're just going to wait for that to heat up. In the meantime, on your heated insert, you'll notice that there is a little piece that is just slightly tapered down from where the threads are. It's a little bit longer. As you can see, there's one in that's flat, and then there's a bit that sticks in. The reason they do that is so that you can perfectly get it to sit on your hole. 
um, obviously oh, it looks like I might be using the wrong size here so let me see if I have a slightly bigger M3 because it looks like those holes are actually for a slightly larger one I'll be surprised if they use M4 on this because this, this one here I printed off of um, printables and they suggested that that's what you use is M3s uh, but we'll look back into this um, I'm just going to wait for a little bit while this heats up and then we'll come back to it okay yeah now that I worked out what I was doing wrong it's just I was doing them on the wrong side anyway right so here's our soldering iron heated to 260 here's our heat insert ready to go just slightly pressed onto it and then get it right down into it and then just press lightly as you can see it goes right in and that's where you want it that's it nice and flush and it melts in obviously to your material we'll do that one more time I'll just flip this one over there we go so just like that get it perfectly straight up and down now there are little tools that you can affix your soldering iron and set this down there we go I've done this a few times by hand there we go and that's boom it melts into your model part there we go I just wanted to make sure I was seeing that it was doing there we go yeah and that's what you want you want it to just be flush without going all the way down in because as you'll see here um, let me just get a, another one here um, to show you what I mean as you can see it just barely covers in and it doesn't really wobble much you know and count yeah that started to get hot already uh, <laughs> but needless to say that's basically all you do and it's a simple tool to use it'll let you easily either put it in one of those heat insert presses that will press it in for you where it just does it gradually if you don't have a steady hand um, and you're not good at keeping things perfectly straight up and down when pressing them in and that's it that's all you have to do so there's your kit from Mintian um, obviously has a very good number uh, of these uh, heat inserts um, yeah obviously they may not cover one complete project with this um, but it just depends on what your project is and if it's only something like this this is this requires uh, 10 heat inserts uh, four on the back of one size and you know six on the front of a slightly different this is more than enough and obviously that'll work uh, and like I said the soldering iron fully adjustable temperature obviously comes up in Celsius so you set your temperature based on the material and just set it at you know roughly the the same as the printing temperature or just below that way you can either get it to go right in or if you want it to slowly melt in so you can push it in nice and slow and get it to melt in then you can set that a little bit I could probably get away with 220 to 240 for this with ABS yeah it's just I would have to it would take a little longer for it to melt in that's all and there you go uh, nice little kit um, I'll leave links in the comments uh, obviously in the description for these uh, two separate items at the moment um, hopefully Mintian will get the official you know kit in a 240 volt um, obviously so that you know the UK can have a nice all-in-one ready to go heat insert kit but it never hurts to have yourself some soldering and desoldering tools um, if you also do general electronics thank you for watching